In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my little known camera hacks to help you feel better on camera. Hey everybody, Katie Lance here, and I'm so excited to talk about camera confidence because when it comes to getting on camera, I know a lot of us don't like how we look, we don't like how we sound, we're not sure how to do it, so, th so then we don't do it. And when it comes to video content, video content is really one of the top pieces of content that you can put out there to share your opinion, your personality, to build trust. And in this video, I'm gonna share five tips that help me get more confident on camera and five things that I know have helped a lot of the folks we work with inside of our Get Social Smart Academy show up, show up more authentically and ultimately get more business from being on camera. All right, let's get into the tips. Tip number one, look at the camera, not yourself. Okay, this is a big one, especially if you're using your phone. And I don't know why this happens. I feel like this happens a lot for ladies where like we're looking at ourselves and so then we get really self-conscious. I know this happens to me. Uh, maybe this happens to more than probably just me. I'm sure this happens to a lot of you, but you're looking at yourself and then we start to get really self-conscious. We are our own worst critics. So with your phone, if you're not sure where your camera is, take your phone and you might just kind of tap the screen and see like where is your camera. Every phone's a little bit different, but get in the house of starting to look at the camera and not yourself. Now, what that means is when you hit the record button on your mobile device, you're probably looking down because you're looking to see where that button is. So look down, push the button, look up, and then record, say whatever you're gonna say, record your video, and then you're probably gonna look down again and um, hit that you know record button to stop recording. And a little separate tip outside of these tips I'm sharing is that you can actually go in and just like delete that little pause. So if you open up your camera, whether you have an iPhone or Android, whatever you have, you can go right to that video, hit the edit button, and for just about every phone that's out there, there's like a little slider button at the very bottom. I know I have an iPhone, so I can go to a video, hit edit, I'll see a little slider, and I can just like move that slider in just a little bit to cut off that little pause where I'm looking down and just on the beginning and the end, and that little thing just is a small thing that makes a difference. But again, look at the camera, not yourself. Tip number two, smile before you hit record. Okay, this is a big one. I often see folks who are just getting started with video and they start off really serious and then they hit the button and they start recording and then they smile. So smiling is just gonna help put you in a better mood. You really want to be a little bit more energetic than you would even be in real life. So that energy is important when you're on camera. I always say do whatever you gotta do. Before I get on camera, you know, I'm not reading my emails. I'm listening to some good music. I might have a cup of coffee, maybe listen to Beyonce or Taylor or Swift or whatever it is to get you fired up, but get fired up and smile and then hit record. Again, just a small thing that makes a big difference. Tip number three, great lighting really does help. Now I say this, I don't want you to think you have to spend like thousands of dollars on like fancy lighting equipment. I'm using a ring light, <laughs> pretty simple ring light that you know we found on Amazon, that works. I'm also facing natural light. So having a natural light source is great. I'll be honest with you, if you're on our YouTube channel and you go back to our old videos, I probably shouldn't even say this, but if you go way, way, way back, the first like 99 videos, I didn't have a light, and actually I didn't even have a mic, <laughs> to be honest with you. I just faced a window and I talked really loud. Now, I don't necessarily uh, recommend that, but I also think, you know, you don't need a whole lot of fancy equipment. The phones that we have nowadays are better than ever before. And of course, having, you know, a mic, of course that's gonna help with your audio. You don't necessarily have to do that, especially if you're recording inside and you're doing something just like I'm doing right here. But natural lighting is great, and any kind of lighting source that you can have where you're illuminating your face, it's going to make you look better and when you watch it back, you're going to feel a little bit more confident because you look better. So a quick tip, if you are in a room and you don't have a light, you wanna to try to be facing the window. So face the window. Don't have the window behind you because then it'll kind of cast a dark shadow across your face, but great lighting really does help. You can get a big, like I said, a big ring light on uh, Amazon. You can even get those little tiny ones uh, that you can just clip to your phone as well if, if you'd like. Tip number four, talk to what you know. So you can be looking at the camera, you can be smiling, you can be energetic, but if you're talking about something that you don't know anything about, you're gonna be nervous, you're gonna probably ramble on and on, you're gonna have to look down at your notes, and honestly, when it comes to video, I like to have notes, but I also like to just know what I'm gonna talk about, right? It's a lot easier for me to sit down and record a bunch of videos all in one batch, because I'm talking about stuff that I could talk about at a dinner party. You know, if you came up to me and you asked me, like, oh my gosh, Katie, how do I get better on camera? 
I would share some of these tips right now. I didn't have to do a whole lot of research. So part of, I think, camera confidence is really thinking about what do you know? What do you love to talk about? You know, if you're in real estate and you love your community, like you are someone who is like super involved in the PTA and local organizations and your local little league, like that's what gets you fired up, then that's what you should talk about. But maybe you're someone who isn't as involved in your local community, but you, you know, you, you love the ins and outs of the real estate transaction. You are, you know, a, a prized negotiator or you love the marketing part of it or you love, you know, the staging and the design part of it. Whatever your kind of niche is or the part that you really love a lot that you love to talk about, lean into that because that's going to shine through on camera. It's also going to take a lot less prep work because it's something that you already know that you're really comfortable about. So talk to what you know. That's a big one. And tip number five, probably most important, but camera angles are everything. <laughs> Your camera angles are really important. And the big mistake I see a lot of agents and brokers make, and really anyone, especially when they're new with video, is they're not quite sure where to look or how to angle themselves. The best piece of advice I can give you is to look straight into the camera. So you wanna be eye level with the camera. You don't wanna be looking down. You don't wanna be looking up. You know, there's nothing worse than seeing someone's video and you just kind of see like the top of their head and that's it. I kind of like to crop myself typically sort of waist up or maybe even a little bit higher, maybe like elbow up. Camera angles are obviously important and the more you do it, the better you get. And part of this is watching yourself back. So what I would recommend is set up your phone. If you've got a simple tripod, you can use that. Uh, you can also just prop your phone up if you don't have that. You know, don't let don't let certain things hold you back, right? So prop up your phone or if you're gonna record on your laptop, record just maybe 10 or 20 seconds of you just talking, but that way you can check your angles to see like, do I look okay? Am I looking at the camera? Like, am I framed okay? And so camera angles certainly do make a big difference. Now a bonus tip to all of this is practice. I'm not gonna say practice makes perfect, but practice helps you get better for sure. The more you get on camera, the better you get, the more confident you get. So I'm gonna challenge you. If you're someone, if I were to ask you like, how often are you doing videos? And you're like, oh, every once in a blue moon, or I did one this month. I'm gonna challenge you because if you can post a video once a month, you can probably do one twice a month. And if you can do one twice a month, I bet you could do it once a week. And it's just like anything. When you develop a habit, when you get better at something, when you get a little bit more consistent, when it becomes a priority in your business, it's amazing what can happen. And so oftentimes I find when it comes to getting on camera, it becomes like the last thing on our list. It's not as important, but I want you to consider, especially if you're in real estate, you know, think about how this can be an opportunity for you to generate business, for you to attract people who want to work with you. I can just tell you from my own experience what happens when you get on camera consistently at least a few times a week, whether that's showing up in Instagram stories, reels, YouTube, whatever platform it is, when you show up on a consistent basis and you share things that are helpful, insightful, you share a little bit of your personality, you share that you're you're not perfect, you share your authenticity, you share a little bit behind the scenes, you share what you love, uh, what you love, what you do and who you love to work with people notice that and people will say things like, oh my gosh, I see you everywhere. I feel like I know you. I feel like you're in my head. And those kind of people, when they're ready to work with you, they're ready to work with you, right? They're not shopping around calling, you know, a dozen different realtors. And so that's the business reason of setting aside time, getting better on camera, practicing. And again, the good news is it's easier than ever before. We don't need a whole lot of fancy equipment. You've got your phone, you've got your arm. I often joke, I, you know, people will say, do you have a selfie stick? I'm like, no, I have my arm, <laughs> right? So we don't need a whole lot of fancy equipment. Remember done is better than perfect. I say that all the time. Don't suffer from analysis paralysis. And so my challenge, challenge to you who are watching this is I would love to see your video content. I would love to see you show up on camera. I would love to see you share a helpful tip or an insight. So my challenge to you is in the next day or two from watching this video, I want you to create something. It could be a reel. It could be a YouTube video. I don't care where it is, but tag me or send it to me. And I would absolutely love to check it out. I'm happy to share um, any helpful tips or insights I might have. All right. Are we up for the challenge? Let me know in the comments below. Yes or no. If you're willing to take the challenge, would love to see see what you create. And if you're looking for some additional free resources, I would love for you to go to our website,
website. We just updated our website. You can go to katielance.com and go to the free resources tab. So katielance.com forward slash freebies. We have a whole bunch of free resources that are really going to help you take your social media and your content strategy and getting on camera to the next level. And last but not least, we would love if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell button. We have new videos like this that come out each and every week. All right, my friends, until next time, I can't wait to see what you create. I'll see you online. I'll see you on camera. Bye for now.